you can download freely this practical notebook from my website experiment 8 of part 2 in practical notebook left side page of same experiment welcome students we are starting a new practical in electricity today and the name of this experiment is to determine the emf of a cell using a potentiometer apparatus for this experiment potentiometer battery two cells galvanometer voltmeter rheostat jockey two way key and a cut key this is rheostat three these are the two primary cells which we are using in the experiment this is galvanometer this is jockey this is two way plug key this is one way plug key in the circuit diagram you can see that these four lines they represent the potentiometer this one is the rheostat one way plug key battery and these are the two cells primary cells which we are using this portion represents two way plug key this is galvanometer and this galvanometer it is connected with the jockey coming back to the operators now we will connect all these components in our circuit here you can see that with this potentiometer with the terminal b we have connected through this wire we have connected rheostat and the terminal c of the rheostat it is connected through the wire with this plug key other end of the plug key is connected with the battery and you can see that this is the negative terminal of the battery now the positive terminal of the battery is connected with end a now then here this whole circuit it is connected all these four components this rheostat rheostat plug key battery and this potentiometer they are connected in series now we have to connect the two primary cells positive terminals of these two primary cells they have to be connected with this terminal a then the negative terminals of the cells they are connected with these extreme ends of the two way plug key the center uh, the center terminal of the two way plug key it is connected with the black terminal of the galvanometer now the positive terminal of the galvanometer it is connected with this jockey students for our performance we have to check whether these connections which we have made they are correct or wrong now for this thing first of all insert this plug key so that steady current flows through the circuit through this potentiometer then after that insert this key so as to bring this cell which is e1 in the circuit here you can see that this key which is key k1 it is on and k2 is off this shows that this circle this cell it is out of the circuit and this cell which is e1 it is included in the circuit now place your jockey at terminal b the deflection of the needle on the galvanometer it should be towards the extreme end but here in this case we can see that it is not at the extreme end so the reason might be that there uh, any connection any connection could be loose or friction or any resistance between the components then after that place your jockey towards the terminal a and here in the on the galvanometer we can see that deflection of the needle is towards the opposite extreme end after that we will 
switch on switch over the key to k2 this will ensure that now our cell e2 is in the circuit and e1 is out of the circuit because here you can see that this key it is off now again we have to do the similar procedure that we have to place the jockey at terminal b the deflection is at one side then place the jockey at terminal a the deflection should be at the opposite direction in the opposite direction now in assuring this that the directions of the direction of the deflection of the needle is in the opposite direction at both these terminals this assures us that our connections they are right now for the performance that we have to compare emf of a known cell with the emf of the unknown cell now for this thing from these two cells this one it is e1 this one is e2 so we will find out emf of cell e1 with the help of voltmeter by connecting by connecting its positive terminal the positive terminal of the cell with the positive terminal of the voltmeter and negative terminal of the cell with the negative terminal of the voltmeter now this emf which we have seen which we have noted with the help of this voltmeter that will be the known emf and this is the cell whose emf we have to find by comparing it with the emf of the cell e1 now for this purpose what we will do that we will insert this plug key and by inserting the plug key this ensures that the steady current from the battery flows through this tensiometer now insert this plug k1 this shows that our cell e1 it is included in the circuit and cell e2 it is out of the cell now after that with the help of this jockey we have to find the balancing point or null point balancing point is the point where galvanometer shows diff zero deflection or in other words we can say that galvanometer shows zero reading this means that at that point where galvanometer is showing zero reading no current is passing or flowing now for this thing in the potentiometer you can see that there are these four wires and it is obviously not possible that we have to drag this jockey on these four wires to find the null point so what we will do is that and place jockey on this first wire here i can see that the needle it is still towards the negative side then i'll place jockey on the second wire and here i can see that the needle has gone towards the positive side this shows that the switch over from negative to positive terminal has taken place between these two wires now i have to find out the null point in between these two wires now for that thing i'll i will not slide this jockey on these wires simply i'll just put the jockey at different points on the wire and we can see that this needle it is moving towards the zero I 
this point I can see that this needle it is almost at zero so here for this small short distance I can just drag it drag this jockey on this wire slightly to find out the zero deflection now here you can see that at this point our galvanometer is showing a zero reading so after that the next step is that we have to note down this reading so that i'll do with the help of the scale So the reading which is which is shown over here that is 96.5 on the scale the reading is 96.5 but as I told you earlier that this reading it will not be 96.5 the reason for this is that all these four wires their length of each wire the length of each wire is 100 centimeter and our null point is on the second wire null point is on the second wire so for this there is a, a little technique with which you can uh, note down the reading this first wire it is of 100 centimeter second wire is of 100 centimeter now 100 and 100 200 and here you can see that this third wire which is again of 100 centimeter but on the third wire the null point is at 96.5 centimeters now the easy way of noting down this length is that you know that each length of this wire it is 100 centimeter so these this is 100 centimeter this is 100 centimeter so it is 200 centimeters and our null point lies on the third wire at 96.5 so subtract this 96.5 from 100 and we get 3.5 so this 3.5 will be added in this 200 so the total or the final reading will be 203.5 centimeters and this will be our first length which is L1 so we will note down this reading L1 in our table so this is 203.5 which is the balancing length for cell E1 and it is L1 now we have to find the balancing length for cell E2 with the similar procedure.